children are evacuated from a kindergarten in the Black Sea port city of Sevastopol in Russian annex Crimea. The Russian Defense Ministry said Ukraine targeted the headquarters of Russia's Black Sea fleet there with cruise missiles, five of which were intercepted by air defense systems. Residents in central Sevastopol have been told to leave. Ukraine's military confirmed the operation as President Vladimir Zelensky arrived in Canada, where Parliament afforded him a warmer welcome than the one he received from some Republicans in Washington. Ukraine and Canada are the same. We stand and we fight for life. Ukraine, not genocide, will be victorious in this war. People will be the winners, not the Kremlin. Freedom will be the winner. Justice will be the winner. Canada has provided Ukraine with $1.3 billion in military aid. And on Friday, another commitment of $482 million worth of Canadian-made armored vehicles. We will also contribute pilot and maintenance instructors to the joint coalition F-16, as well as support for Leopard 2 tank maintenance. This is Zelensky's first visit to Canada. After 19 months of war with Russia, he's trying to shore up support for Ukraine's military with pleas for faster deliveries of more advanced weapons. The bulk of that support comes from Canada's southern neighbor, where House Republicans now say they're growing weary and impatient with the conflict, given the tens of billions in funding the U.S. has provided. But Democrats warned against any pause in aid. There was a single sentence that summed it all up, and I'm quoting him verbatim. Mr. Zelensky said, if we don't get the aid, we will lose the war. That's a quote. President Joe Biden has taken credit for amassing vocal, monetary and arms support for Ukraine among Western nations. Now the task falls to him to convince his domestic political opponents that only their investment in Ukraine can lead to its victory. Yasmin Asabawi, TRT World, Washington.